Hi everyone, it's uh, Nono here and this is live uh, 106. Today uh, we're going to take a look at Llama. This is um, an open source large language model that some of you might know about and it is a model that I have intended to learn about for some time. So this is an odd um, day for me. I'm trying like uh, Sunday nights uh, here in Spain to live stream as well to see if I can um, you know, add a bit more um, streaming time during the week and uh, yeah, so we're gonna get started um, really soon. I will invite anyone who joins us live today to say hi in the chat and tell us where you're connecting from and if you're watching this offline, uh, leave us a comment. Tell us where you were connecting from, uh, anything you like from today or from past live streams. And as always, uh, click um, on the like button if you're enjoying the content that I'm doing. If you have any suggestions for content, put them on the comments or on the chat. And also don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell if you want to get notified when I go live next or when I upload new videos. All right, let's get started. And for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Nono Martinez Alonso. I'm doing this uh, live stream on creative AI and coding where we try to reserve time every week to look at interesting technologies. Uh, you can join the Discord server at nono.ma slash Discord. And I will remind you that last week we were playing with, well, just uh, earlier this week, like on Thursday, um, we were playing with DALI 3, which is available um, inside of the GPT-4 chat GPT currently, the paid version which is definitely worth it. And yeah, we did some generations. You have the chapters there and that way you can browse through the um, uh, that episode um, a bit better. And yeah, so what are we gonna do today? I was talking before about uh, Llama. So we're gonna see what's Llama and um, we're gonna look at how to run it locally. I don't think we're gonna be able to run it locally today because it's a big model and I need to do some tests and stuff and as I mentioned last week I'll do more of those when I get my new laptop an M3 Max MacBook Pro and that way we'll be able to, to test it here but some of you have shown interest on the channel to learn how to fine-tune models like Llama um, or something that we call Llama uh, in Spanish right that's how the pronunciation is in Spanish how to train these type of models with custom data, maybe enterprise data that is private and you can't really train um, offsite. And yeah, maybe with small data sets that you wanna try to add more data that doesn't exist out in the wild on the data sets that these models were trained. I'm hoping <clears throat> Llama and the large language models are a topic that are gonna stay here with us. Uh, Llama 2 right now is a hot topic. It's not gonna be an evergreen topic, but as always, I'll try to uh, understand these things in a way that is gonna be um, useful content in the long run, not something that um, you might just use today and have to forget tomorrow. So yeah, let's get, um, yeah, let's do a quick intro here. Um, hi everyone. Uh, this is Nono, and this is a quick intro to Llama 2. This is a Meta AI's open source uh, large language model, which you know you can compare in some way to ChatGPT. Well, not to ChatGPT, to GPT-3 or GPT-4, for example. And yeah, we're gonna learn a bit about it today. So bear with us if that's what you're gonna do. And if you have any comments, uh, leave them on the chat. If you uh, are connecting with us live, uh, let us know on the chat where you're connecting from. All right, uh, let's take this out and remove this. So we uh, looked in live um, 105, a prompt engineering and differentiable shapes. Today we're at live uh, 106 already, and we're gonna take a look at Llama 2. Um, I have other interests, other things that I would like to do. I want to get into um, more shaders, like kind of do a refresher of shaders, maybe with 3JS maybe with um, Apple's uh, Metal API. And I also wanna get back at building um, iOS apps. I have some fun projects that um, I haven't been working on for a bit. And also one that some of you expressed interest in the past. I have this um, project here. Let me, oh, 
something happened here. I think I froze. Right, it's not great. Ha, huh. something with this. Okay, one, one second, I think. Do, 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 do. One right here. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. It seems it might have to do something with. Um, hmm, with the new API on Mac. Uh, actually, this is how I see myself on camera, right? Like you see me uh, cropped down here, but this is how I see myself. And there is some stuff. I'm not sure if the reactions API is something from here. Yeah, okay. This is what uh, broke it, it seems. Uh, let me see, I'm not sure how long. Right, we have some technical issues here. Actually, let me, let me plug this somewhere else. One second. Right, let me put here a little break slide. That's why we have it and we'll come back. All right, seems like this works. Um, let me know if the camera freezes. Uh, this is a bit weird, but you know that's why also I wanna get another computer just to make sure these things don't happen. Okay, so we're talking about Llama 2 and next, like I said, iOS apps. I also mentioned, um, not, well, I was mentioning Node Parser. Let's, let's take a look at what that actually is. So I was trying to build that here. And let's see if that is here. Yeah. So note parser for those of you uh, who are here uh, is a an open source project that I have that um, was is meant to be a plain text note parser, as the name says. And I can put here a month. I can put a date. And hmm, seems like there's some bug there, but yeah, it's okay. So I can say I spent here 45 euros, for example, and this thing automatically um, graphs the, the data that you add. And, um, and aggregates, right? So for example, it's already adding 45 plus 10 here. And so it's like January um, 17th. Uh, I spend that amount, right? You can do things, for example, like say March 20th, and I spend $125, and there's some conversion that happens fixed um, with a fixed um, 
conversion rate right now, but it's meant to be like the actual rate for that day. And then you could actually split things between people and it actually counts um, with that conversion. So yeah, let's not get lost into this right now, but that's another side project. Just, I wanted to show you because I don't know, you might say, okay, I'm interested in the iOS stuff or I'm interested in Llama 2 or I'm interested in Node Parser. So you, you can let me know. Okay, so let's actually do, because I'm not intending to make this live stream super small. So um, let's take a look at Llama 2. I'm also a beginner here and I'm not gonna claim that I know a lot. So I'm just gonna get into this and I invite you to join with me. So, and learn with me. Uh, and if you have any feedback or any comments or things that you've done already, uh, you could leave those on the chat or on the comments and let me know, or maybe on the, the Discord community. So you can use the live channel for that to talk about these things, or maybe the, the machine learning channel. So yeah, let's um, let's get going. All right, uh, great. Um, do, 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 Lama 2, okay, so let's make this. So Lama 2, is a, as I said before, is an open source large language model. Large language models, if we wanna see an example, uh, is uh, GPT, right? And here, ChatGPT is an adaptation of uh, GPT-4 uh, in this case, uh, which is a general purpose transformer, I think it's what um, those stand for. <clears throat> and what that means is that we have a chat like interface to interact with one of these models and if i write here um, i can even give instructions to this thing so say complete this um, sentence right and i say uh, the dog was walking slowly down the right and now uh, that's my prompt for the model and then you know the street its ears perked up as it listened to the gentle hum of the neighborhood around it right so a large language model knows how to do a lot of stuff gpt knows how to do a lot and uh, what makes them better or worse is uh, their architecture the data set that was used how many par billion parameters the model has and of course, how well it works or for different tasks, right? So there's there are benchmarks. The difference between um, ChatGPT or or let's say, so if we go to OpenAI and GPT, um, oh, okay, GPT-4. So the difference between Llama and GPT is that OpenAI created GPT models and they keep them closed behind a paywall, so an API that you can use when they released it and um, the difference with um, Llama 2 is that Llama is open source so anyone can download it can retrain can fine tune it can do a thing right Llama 2 is available for free for research and commercial use so it's basically free for anyone who wants to use it but there's some terms that probably say you can't use this for uh, terrorism or for uh, illegal things that are out there, right? Which is is good, right? That, that those things are not allowed inside the model. Uh, this release includes uh, model weights and starting code for pre-trained and fine-tuned Llama language models. Llama chat, code Llama ranging from seven to 70 billion parameters, right? So maybe, maybe we can, um, Maybe we can take some notes in our notebook here. So ah, this is really bad because it's uh, really compressed. I never like this um, from uh, um, Notion, but let's see. I think there is an option here, full width. So this spans across, but yeah, let's, let's just put this here and I'll move it later. So live 106, and maybe we can even put it here. All right, this is gonna be our notepad. Okay, so Llama is um, uh, Llama, Llama 2, open source 
um, LLM by oh, LLM by Meta AI. And uh, we can also say, so let's see, we can also say that it's um, uh, don't, so free for research and commercial use. And we're gonna say also here, um, mm -mm, model weights, downloadable model weights, starting. And starting code for pre-trained and fine-tuned Llama language models. So we have Llama, Chat, and Code Llama. Uh, Llama Chat, uh, okay, um, <coughs> from 7 billion to 70 billion parameters. So Llama Chat, I mean, it's um, obvious what this can be. It's probably going to be uh, chat GPT like interface to interact with Llama. So it's chat Llama or something like that. And then they have code Llama, which is um, something like um, co-pilot, right? Um, like uh, GitHub uh, co-pilot or, um, or GPT for code and Llama chat uh, like chat GPT or something like that. An interface that allows you to interact with the model by chatting right? with the interface that we can see here in chat GPT. And this part here of, of code llama, right? If we look at that, um, the thing that we can do in in ChatGPT is that we can actually say, write TypeScript code to um, find the volume of a pyramid, for example. And it actually uh, knows how to write code, how to format it properly, and how to add comments to that code, right? Um, it's telling us the formula that we have to use to um, to find the volume of a pyramid and it's explaining also the base area and whatnot and now it knows how to write that code and use it here. So now we have a function that with uh, the side length of a, of a pyramid with like a square base and its height it can calculate the the pyramid volume, right? It's written it for us and we could, um, I think if I write here, uh, TS node, uh, I can copy paste that code and uh, it says volume of the pyramid is 32 cubic units. And that's six, four, so yeah, that, I mean, it, it did what he was um, asking us for, right? So it's probably, Side length, so it's just four by four, four six divided by three, 32, right? So it's written code for us. We didn't even have to think about it and it works. So we can, I don't know, the, the possibilities of this are really, really big and we don't really have to code the same way we used before because we can ask for many different things. We could say, uh, write CSS to format or like for a floating um, panel with rounded corners and half opacity. And it does it. So it, it's learned a lot of stuff from uh, code and it can do all of these things for us. So it's uh, pretty neat and it's pretty surprising that this works. And you know, one uh, quick thing that I would like to say for those of you who are connecting live, um, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell if you want to get notified when I go live next or when I upload new videos and let us know in the chat where you're connecting from today and how you found us. All right, so uh, yeah, this gave us the, the code uh, we asked for, right? Okay, I'm trying to give some conceptual understanding for people who are not familiar with these things for Llama 2 and, and GPT and stuff. Uh, so let's keep going. So I'll put myself here. Let's keep going with the, the model. So Llama 2 was trained on 40 more, 40% 40 more data than Llama 1 and has double the context length. So, okay, so let's talk maybe um, uh, training data of 40% more than Llama 1 and uh, 
context double down lama one but what was the size so we have um okay 70 so 7 30 13 and uh 70 billion parameters right the model architecture pre-training tokens two trillion tokens true context length four thousand okay Uh, 4,000, um, all right, so maybe, uh, if you bear with me, we can play a bit with, um, creating slides as well. So this is the number of, uh, tokens of this model, right? So do, 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 let's do here, um, context. Length. Okay, so <laughs> we can talk this way about things. So what is context? Context is the amount of, um, well, first, okay. So let's let's actually look here before we talk. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so context length, llama is pre-train models, two trillion tokens and have the context length. The llama is fine tuned models have been trained over 1 million human annotations context length okay is that tokens probably is tokens so when we talk about a token in a model uh, those are parts of words right like the might be a token or in helicopter heli cop there I, I don't remember how it was but like yeah here like la and ma might be two different um, tokens. So those will count over two out of these ones. And usually in ChatGPT, as we saw in Live 105, the context length is reduced from this number to uh, by the amount of instructions that GPT has already inside of the um, its um, model, right? Like the instructions that they give the chat to, to interact with you. But the context um, basically reduces down to how many, like the length of the prompt that you can give, that you can give the model, right? All right, so let's keep going here, uh, taking a look a bit about more things, benchmarks. Um, okay, this is a comparison. So we have MPT, Falcom, Llama 2, MPT model. So let's take a look, hugging face. Um, mm -mm, comparison with MPT and Falcon. So MPT is the model proposed uh, Mosaic MLs, LLM and Falcon. And released with multiple sizes and fine-tuned variants. The MPT model sees a series of open source models and commercially usable LLMs pre-trains on one trillion tokens. Okay, so training the two uh, trillion tokens, right? Uh, um, okay, so Llama is trained on uh, two trillion tokens and one million human annotations. One million human annotations, okay. Uh, okay, so here we have the um, different benchmarks, right? Like the different um, test sets and uh, da, 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 comparison with each of the types of models and we are going to look for Falcon LLM uh, uh, Falcon LLM <coughs> 180 billion Technology Innovation Institute Technology Innovation Institute up to 180 billion Okay, 
super powerful language model with 180 billion parameter strains on 3.5 trillion tokens. Uh, it's currently at the top of the hugging face leaderboard for pre trained open large. Okay. Um, okay. We're going to put here um, currently at the top of hugging face leaderboard for pre trained open LLMs available for research and commercial use. All right, all of these models, like if we look at this table here, um, each of these models shown, let's see how we can do this to show the problem. Yeah, each of the models here on, on this benchmark are um, heavier or like bigger in size in your disk, um, depending on how many billion parameters they have, because the model is larger, it has more knowledge, more, more um, uh, parameters, and uh, that determines how heavy it is to run, how much, I think also how much RAM it needs to run, and uh, yeah, so we'll see, but you know, here we don't get a comparison with the 180 billion from Falcon, but it would be interesting to see how many, how much better it is than the 40 billion Falcon. Okay, so we have many benchmarks in, in here. So we have Human Eval, we have Hello, Hella Swag, Trivia Q&A, uh, Vinogrand, uh, yeah, many, many things, right? So uh, here, model in more detail. So we have Llama uh, Chat, and, and here we have Code Llama, and here we can get more information. So Lama Chat was pre-trained and publicly available online data sources. The fine-tuned leverages publicly available instruction data sets and over 1 million human annotations. And Code Lama is a code generation model built on Lama 2, trained on 500 billion tokens of code, supports common programming languages, including uh, Python, C++, uh, Java, PHP, TypeScript, C Sharp, and Bash. And we can learn more. So maybe, maybe we do um, dive in here a bit more. Llama to open source free for research and commerce. Download the model. Yeah, I actually wanted to get like to learn more. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they say here on Code Llama. Mm -hmm. In Bash, how do you list blah, blah, blah? Okay, do they have... Three sizes of Code Llama. Okay, so we can see here, uh, mm -hmm. 7 billion, 13 billion, and 34 billion. Uh, trained on 500 um, billion tokens of code and code related data. Uh, fill instruction model have also been trained with fill in the middle capability, allowing them to insert code into existing commit. They can support tasks like code completion right out of the box. Uh, code complete completion task out of the box. Okay, so. The three models address different serving. The seven model, seven billion model, for example, can be served on a single GPU. The 34 billion model returns the best results and allows for better coding, but the smaller seven and 13 billion are faster and more suitable for tasks that require low latency, like real time code completion. All right. Da -da. Okay, and um, yeah, again, if you're connecting with us live, uh, tell us uh, on the chat if, um, I don't know where you're connecting from, if you can hear me okay, if you can see me okay, and yeah, just say hi. And uh, yeah, and don't forget to um, subscribe and click on the bell to, if you wanna get notified when I go live next or when I upload new videos. Uh, let's keep going here. Uh, da -da -da, releasing Code Llama. Programmers are already using uh, releasing Code Llama. Developer workshop more efficient so we can follow more human centric aspect. 
at Meta, we believe that AI models, uh, particular benefit most of our open approach, public level, level code specific, code llamas training recipes available in GitHub repository. Okay, so code llamas training. All right, and here we have um, <coughs> inference code for llama model. Code llama models. Okay, the um, you see, this is this is what I meant before. So um, we have. Uh, around 12 gigs and a half for 7 billions, 24 gigs for 13, and 63 gigs for 34 billion. Uh, it's not trivial. I mean, it takes time to download these things and it takes time to load the model into memory. So yeah, but here's how to install it. Okay, so let's let's move aside here and read the instructions. This is what we care about, uh, for example, in, in Code Llama, right? Pip install E in Anaconda environment with PyTorch could available clone the repo and run the top level directory. So here, you know, this word, <laughs> uh, this is one of the issues that we have is that I'm going to be running this on Mac and I'm not going to have um, availability to CUDA in here. And uh, so that's, that's an issue because this requires PyTorch and CUDA. And um, this is all the code uh, for us to run it. So one thing we could do is that we could try running these things or finding a, a Google Colab notebook that allows us to, uh, to run um, Code Llama. So let me see. Let's see. Okay, so for example, Code Llama Google Colab. Let, let's see if this. Um, how do I use? Yeah, there's going to be videos. Um, people are already like looking at these things how to run Code Llama for with a colon notebook. Okay, let's, yeah, I mean, I, I wonder, like, we, we could find one of these things, Colab Code Llama Pro, what? Yeah, this, this takes some time and I'm not gonna go through all this right now, but we could chat with Llama too or Code Llama, blah, 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 okay. Yeah, so this is these are the things I wanted to take a look at, right? Like, can we run this easily? Is this like um, uh, hard? Like, let's see here, okay. Torch run blah, 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 example completion. It seems like this is what you will need to run if you have the model and Okay, yeah, so this is, this is one uh, of the things we need to look at. So we're not gonna run this right now and we're gonna go back to the main page. Um, we're gonna go and see the download model pages in a second. I want to keep going. So global partners. It seems like a lot of people are involved with this. Uh, we could also look at hugging face uh, llama. Let's see, code llama. Two. Code Llama, all right. Demo. This is a demo to generate text and code with the following Code Llama model 13 billion. Please note that this model is not designed for instruction purposes, but for code completion. If you're looking for instruction or want to chat with a fine-tuned model, you can use this demo instead. You can learn more about the model in the blog post or paper. For a chat demo of the largest Code Llama model, you can now select Code Llama in Hugging Chat. 
Oh, that's crazy. So now they have hugging chat. Um, okay, let me put this here, hugging chat. Yeah. All right, so enter your code. Uh, we're gonna do const a equals uh, 42, const b equals 36, um, const result equals, okay. Let's see, oh, connection error out. Hmm. All right, let's go. Oh, what's going on here? Errors. Try as guest. Code lava. Right, it's okay. Let's try to copy our prompt just to see if that works. Sure, here's a code which changes code you requested. Uh huh. Yeah, so it auto completes our code. Okay, can I say write um, 3JS code to create a spherical mesh? To create a spherical mesh in 3JS, you can use 3 mesh class and provide it with the set of vertices. Okay, so this looks really similar to what um, ChatGPT can do now with um, their code uh, suggestion model. All right. Hugging chat. goes creates a scene camera and render then defines spherical geometry using the sphere geometry class it creates a mesh you can also use Martian squares algorithm to generate a mesh from a set of points on the surface of the sphere that's very interesting sphere creates a grid of points on the surface of a sphere using Martian squares algorithm let's see right great okay so this is it like we have okay so let's go back to hugging chat what models can we use falcon hmm generate Generate uh, do, 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 five trivia questions related to AI. The father of artificial intelligence. Which year was the third if it was coined? Oof, this is in the 60s, right? Um, I'm gonna know that. Mm -mm. Is this um, Patrick Winston's uh, professor? Which polar ball game was sold by Animal Pro? Go. Yes, this is go, right? Probably chess. Go. Go, I guess. Uh, what are the three main branches of AI? Hmm. 
It's a machine learning reinforcement learning and something else. Um, Chomsky, Chomsky, okay. Give me the answer for these questions. Okay, I'll say artificial intelligence, Chomsky, 1960, um, reinforcement learning, machine learning, and a deep net, no, not deep net, uh, I'm not sure. Go. Oh, John McCarthy, no idea. 1960, okay. 66 more or less. Machine learning, natural language processing, okay, and robotics, the popular board game, checkers. Oh, okay, when was chess and go um, solved then? Chess was not completely solved, but a computer program called Deep Blue defeated Go was solved in 2016 by Google Salsa Go. Okay, yeah, there you go. You get some. <laughs> All right, let's say. Uh, Five more. We're talking to like um, this is Falcon. This is the one we wrote here. We're talking to Falcon 180 billion parameters. What is the name of the AI system of Miami and the one Geo Party? Oh, no idea. Don't know much. Those Alexa. Those is Amazon. What is the name of the AI system of Miami? I can recognize me an object. Hmm. Bard, I have no idea. Bard, no idea. Deep fakes, um, guns, generative AI, guns, generative adversarial networks. What is the name of the AI system? Well, the AI that can generate human like uh, ChatGPT or GPT. Uh, provide, oh, whoa, okay. Now I want to know the answers, don't you? And yeah, if you're connecting live today, I'll really appreciate if you say hi in the chat and let us know. Uh, let me let me log in here. Um, mm -mm -mm. Uh, what's my admin face now? Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Always forget your password. Yes. Okay, hi, Imran Ali. How are you doing? Where are you connecting from? Nice, uh, thanks for, for saying hi. There's some humans back there. <laughs> okay, so I'm resetting my password here on Hugging Face. Um, great, I can now log in. And we're gonna sign in with this. Um, mm -mm -mm. And India, nice. How did you find us? Were you following already and you got a notification or, or did you find us on Google suggestions? Um, all right, ah, let's see if we can go back. Okay, I could, I'm great. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, I'm doing great. And yeah, I, I'm playing a bit with Llama here and other um, large language models, but we're gonna end soon today. I don't think it's gonna go for too long. All right, so, and how are you? How are you doing today? Uh, okay, provide the answers for these questions. I don't think uh, I need to be so verbose. Your party, Watson, oh, okay, yeah, but that, Okay, Amazon, I had that right. Google Vision, no idea. Okay, GANs, I got that right. Even though I said generative AI as well. And GPT, okay, GPT-3. Just discovered you. Yeah, so if you just discovered us, um, make sure that you subscribe and click on the bell to get notified when I go live next. 
and I would really like to know um, why did you click? Like, uh, is our LLMs or Llama two or interesting for you? Like, do you want to um, use this in in some way? Okay, so we're here. Um, mm -mm. Great. So I'm gonna go back here and da -da -da -da. there's a mistrial extract. Uh, we're gonna go back to Meta here. Download. All right. So when you want to download, you actually have to fill this form um, and agree to their terms. All you need to do is uh, select the models you'd like access to. I would like to all of them. Uh, we don't have any. I mean, Spain. Uh, I'm gonna put it here. No, no. Martinez Alonso. I'm gonna put my email. Um, so Imran Ali is saying, I'm so much interested in LLMs and AI, although it is quite new to me, but trying aggressively to learn more. Yeah, okay, I'm not trying aggressively, but I'm trying, I'm trying to see at least a bit. Um, let's put here this organization, but yeah, we're, we're trying as well. That's the purpose of this live stream. So I'm gonna put uh, an email here and uh, gonna, accept the terms and accept and continue. So that's that's what I'm doing right now. And um, now we get this screen. So Llama 2 download request received. Thank you for submitting a request. We will email you with more information regarding your download to stay up to date on the latest on Llama. Subscribe below. I'm not gonna do that right now, but uh, that's great. And I guess I'm gonna go now to my email and I might guess, okay, nice. So we get um, this email and Llama 2 commercial license. You're all set to start building with Llama 2. The models listed below are now available to you as a commercial license holder. By downloading a model, you are agreeing to the terms license acceptable use policy and Meta's privacy policy. Model weights available. 7, 13, and 70 billion um, uh, parameters. You can see that all of them are also fine-tuned for, for chat, um, basically interaction, that type of interaction that uh, you get when, when you're talking as if you were chatting with a human for the model, uh, which with each model download, you receive a copy of the license and acceptable use policy. You can find all other information on the model and code on GitHub. How to download the models? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, so this actually, um, you have to go and download the models uh, yourself. So I'm not gonna show the whole token. Uh, select switch models to download. The unique custom URL will remain valid for 24 hours and request can be submitted multiple times. Now you're ready to start building Llama 2, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so before, um, uh, okay, yeah, so, Chai Time Movies. The video is, this video is about um, Llama 2. So Llama 2 is uh, Facebook's or Meta AI's um, next generation open source language, large language model, which is a model like ChatGPT or GPT for, um, that you can download for free for research or commercial use, which is, pretty big shift because these big models are now, you know, you can run them locally on your own device off the grid and they work pretty well. And also you basically don't often think about that, but you have so much content there. Like it knows about almost everything. If we go here to having chat, we start a new chat and we, okay, let's say, uh, tell me, well, let's say trivia question, for example. Right. If we find um, a trivia question here, um, sports trivia question, right? Uh, we say, what are the names? Let, let's just put this in here. Right? I'm going to put this to the side. And, um, oh, actually, I wasn't sharing, sharing here, but you can see now. Okay. So um, I have here a question. What are the names of Cinderella's stepsisters, right? Without any more context, right? If I were to 
right here. Okay, so let's try to center that. Mm -mm. Right, okay. All right, so we have this question and I'm gonna start a new chat with Lama 70 billion, for example. Uh, if I ask this question, a model that we can run uh, locally, um, I can write here Anastasia and Drisella, right? And that's what this says. And I mean, this page might be on the data set or something. The thing is that like, this model has learned about that. And even if it's just retrieving the data from here, um, it's incredible because you can have offline, you can ask a question and, and it knows about it. So for example, you could say here, can you tell me something about them? And yeah, this uh, blah, 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 two step sisters, their daughters, blah, blah, blah. And they can give you more context. So let's just take one more random questions. Um, here. Maria, there is, oh, the, okay. The first female, the first female driver to score points was Maria Teresa de Phillips who finished, hmm. What about uh, Leia Lombardi? My apologies, you're correct. Leia Lombardi was another female who competed, blah, 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 she finished sixth in the first blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's, let's for example, go and do this question to ChatGPT just to, for comparison. Uh, okay, here, boom. Leia Bombardi. And you know, that tells you something that some of these facts are gonna be good in one and bad in another, right? All right, so going back, to where I was, I was looking at here at um, how to download. So I'm gonna hide this for a second and I'm gonna go to the Lama repositories, read me to run, download when asked for your unique custom URL. All right, so I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run the code for this, right? I'm gonna run the code for this repo and then we're gonna wrap up. So at least we saw a kind of high level intro of Llama 2 and uh, we're gonna see how to download it. There is, in this repo, there is this download.sh file. So I'm gonna go into my, mm, 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 I'm gonna go into my desktop. I'm gonna uh, download, so I'm gonna make a directory. It's gonna go 106 for this live stream and I'm gonna go there. So now we're gonna say git clone and this is uh, https github.com facebook research llama. All right so we clone that and we're gonna enter that directory so we have all these things and we do have that download.sh file right this file um, actually has the instructions needed for us to download a model and uh, we'll have to enter a URL that I've got through the email. So you need to request access um, to download these Llama 2 models and then you'll be able to use that CLI tool to download it. And yeah, one thing uh, really quickly again, I see some other people connecting online. So don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell if you wanna get notified when I go live next and hit the like button if you're enjoying this type of content and you want to let me know that you would like to see more of it. And if you're offline uh, watching this video later, leave a comment on the chat and let us know um, if you're enjoying. Okay, so here we're gonna go and uh, it says here, uh, follow the instructions, run the download script, right? So you run the download script, um, download. We're aware of people encountering a number of download issues, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you have the do do do, then run your script. Uh, uh, okay, pip install. Okay, download sh. Okay, let's just run it. So, download sh. 
enter the URL from the email. Again, we're going to put this here. Now it says enter the list of models to download without spaces. So I actually want 7B chat. Let me make this a bit bigger here. Uh -huh. All right. So we have this option here. I'm going to say just 7B chat and allow. Okay. And now let me see if this is working. Yeah, so now you get a completion bar and I'm not sure how that and let me uh okay uh and hi Bea I can see Bea is also connecting here and Imran Ali says I feel that I'm going to learn in fact a lot to learn in fact a lot more I feel that I'm going to learn in fact a lot more if um if you yeah okay if you can explain what that means I don't quite understand but yeah let's see I'm gonna take a look also at OBS just to make sure that this is not throttling my connection. It seems like we're not really losing any any packets. I just want to see what happens there. But yeah, I mean, this would be the process. We'll download this and we, we basically get um, um, a... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, this is a PyTorch, uh, PyTorch uh, checkpoint. So it's basically a pre-trained model has been saved, can be reloaded, can be um use later yeah in Brangali, uh we have this is live stream 106 so there's like so much more before so if you want to learn about ai and stuff but well, you can go back to some of the other live streams and you know we have a lot of content and in the discord community which i invite you to join you can find i'll put a, an invite um http uh no, no, mass slash discord uh, you can um, join and you can participate on the chat and you can participate on the um, on the on the channel right all right I, I say hello to like um, V well I oh why are these not showing up right now huh I'm not really sure and I was talking about your channel and from you I'm going to learn a lot from you and we'll explore soon all yeah great to hear really great to hear okay the last thing the last nugget of information that i'll put here um is uh get started with code llama okay yeah so i'm getting basically like emails from to be able to download in the next 24 hours this uh two different models and then the thing that i want to show because i've seen this offline is uh llama for apple uh, silicon there is this c++ uh, run llama to locally in blah 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 run llama stamp for alpaca yeah i don't know i am um, here apple silicon gpu support possible the qdax service is very impressive as you know if any efforts of the gpu cores and the end processors you can see the author's previous notes and attempting to use blah 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 he found that with apple Everyone's memory band with right land pure compute. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so this seems like it's a while ago. So let's take a look now. At, there is this uh, repo called llama.c++, CPP. Um, which is port of Facebook's Llama model in C, C++. And this supposedly allows it to run on Apple Silicon Max, so Apple Silicon First Class Citizen, optimized via ARM Neon, Accelerate, and Metal Frameworks. Uh, the main goal of Llama is to run the Llama models in 4-bit integer uh, quantization on a MacBook. Since then, the project has grown significantly, supported platforms, everything. Binding, blah, blah, blah. So you can use in many different languages. <laughs> Here's a typical run using Llama V2 13 billion on M2 Ultra. Make. Uh, 
for a second beyond 14 steps. Find a railway set platform, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's copy this and look at it here. So I'm gonna go to my desktop 106. I'm gonna edit uh, Llama CPP Markdown. So I just wanna have here a text file. Okay, so yeah, and the prompt here is building a website can be done in 10 simple steps. Step one, and basically it's to autocomplete, I guess. Uh, da, da, da. Website works by having pages, okay. And here's another demo running both Llama and Whisper CP on a single M1 Pro MacBook. Okay, let's try this one. All right, there's a video from um, mm -mm -mm. the author of Lama C++, Georgi Gerganov. All right, and this is probably for next time. Lama C++. Uh -huh that runs in uh, Apple Silicon. All right, and did this download? Yes, okay, so if we open now the folder I was downloading these models to, you get this model here and we have 13.48 gigs of a model and uh, the parameters here. Yep, so this would be our model. I don't think we're gonna be able to run it here right now, but that's that's what um, it does, or we could do, right? We could run this if we have the setup, the proper setup. All right, great. Um, <clears throat> all right. It's time to go for me, so I'll really encourage you to join the community at none of the mass of Discord. Leave comments here on the chat, leave comments on the video comments. Let us know what you're enjoying, what you want to learn, and what thing you're looking at. This actually, like looking at Lama 2, was a request from John Mark a few channel um, live streams ago, and you know, here we are. It's something that also interests me, and I want to take a look at to learn a bit more. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I will see you next time. Um, welcome to the newcomers, to the people who just found us online for the first time. Uh, this is a growing community, so we're already um, thousands of people in the channel. And I really, really enjoy um, having you around. So, yeah. Hit me up on Twitter, on Discord, or where you can find me on video comments. Um, make sure you share with uh, friends who like these type of things. And yeah, really enjoy having some of you online today. Yeah, and Imran Ali, thanks for writing here. Chai Time Movies as well. Bea, thanks for showing up. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and for being around. All right, and yeah. This will do it for today. Um, again, thanks a lot. I also hope you like our new, let's see where it is, our new cover. So live 105. And this is an image I did um, in the live stream last uh, Thursday, uh, which is gonna be for this season the image uh, the image cover I think I, I like it I think it's good it's cool and 
this is house one of the um, i mean today's um cover looks like so yeah again uh it was nono martinez alonso here thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you next time bye